Hey guys, welcome to day 127 of my carnivore journey. Just wanted to say hi to everybody right off the bat. And if you're new here, please subscribe, stick around if you'd like to. Um, this is where I do my daily vlog, tell you guys what I eat and how I feel every day. But moving, moving along, guys, um, today 127 was uh, another pretty good day. It was a Monday, day after Easter. Um, did you guys hear about the White House? Like, what they did about Easter? I mean, I'm not trying to be political here, but, like, really? Like, if you don't know what the President of the United States did on the day of Easter, you might want to look into it. It's pretty messed up. Like, I never would have thought as a kid, like, ever would have thought that the White House would be like that. But anyways, all right, so a good way to start. <laughs> We're going to do a inspirational quote today, and we are going to cover what I ate. Now, for those of you who've been watching me every day, you probably know what I ate. It's not a hamburger, actually. I'm just kidding. It's pretty much a hamburger, but it's a cheeseburger. <laughs> so that's right. I had a cheeseburger. So um, I was in a cheesy mood. You know, I hadn't had cheese in a while and uh, like not really, you know. And so I put I uh, graded up like four ounces all together, put some in the meat and some on top. Uh, it was fun, you know, but I made the burger pretty much the normal way. I did cut back more on the salt. Um, because I knew that the cheese would also add some more salt. Uh, also, update too, I didn't tell you guys on Easter when I had that buffet. It's the first time in a while where I've ha I had to like get to a potty, like get to a toilet, probably a half hour after that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you guys know I, I've been every once in a while telling you, oh, yeah, I had a poop. Uh, it was kind of regular, nothing not to report. You know, it was like every few days I'd tell you. Um, nope, that day was like I had to go, and then when I went, it it was um, it was not normal. <laughs> so, so yes, there is something to be said about even though I did stay in the carnivore lane, it there was still some things in there that my body rejected. Obviously, also um, <clears throat> today, like uh, getting back to the burger. I did have the burger and um, the cheeseburger, really good. For lunch, I actually did have two hot dogs, and I had those fairly early, actually. The The way my schedule worked out, and I didn't have any more hard-boiled eggs left. Somebody ate my last couple. Um, and so I got a couple hot dogs, and I'm away out of town because I had to kind of work like an hour and a half away. So I knew that I wasn't going to be able to have a normal lunch. So I went ahead and just ate, even though I wasn't real hungry, but it did keep me satisfied. Those two hot dogs, they were all beef, you know, pretty big hot dogs and um, bunless, of course. They kept me satisfied um, the whole afternoon. And then I got home and, and I had a late dinner, actually. I didn't um, eat dinner till like eight, almost 830. Uh, I'm recording this at. 8.55, so I just ate a little bit ago, but, like, my dinner wasn't ready. I started eating actually at, like, 8.25, 8.30, um, but I had my cheeseburger there, and as you've seen in the picture, there was a little bit of sour cream and red hot sauce on the side. Now, I always have my red hot sauce, whether you see it in the um, picture or not, I always, hate, I always have my Frank's Red Hot. Now, I don't, I only use it toward the last sliver of burger like literally probably the last dozen bites that's usually when i'll start putting a little bit of red hot on the plate and i'll kind of dip my burger uh a little bit into the red hot it just helps that last little bit of burger when the burger's kind of cooling down um by the time i get to that part and it, it just helps me finish that last little bit and and, and that way i'm nice and full um i don't know i like that but the sour cream for some reason, I was kind of craving sour cream to possibly go on it. I was like, so I did take a small dollop on my plate, and I tried three bites total with a little bit of sour cream, and it just wasn't hitting, right? Like, it wasn't like in my mind, I guess. I don't know. So I didn't do any more, any more than that. So if you want to say I had like 
a total of maybe, and, and like I said, I dipped the burger on the little dollop. I don't know. Maybe you could just say I had like one spoonful of sour cream, uh, four ounces of cheese, and a pound of meat, pound of burger. And my burger had one egg in it because I like to add that egg. It just gives it more moisture and more nutrients, I think, in the burger as well, you know, on top of the normal beef nutrients of, of Almighty. Um, so, yeah, that's what I had today. Now, as far as inspirational quotes, this one is from Dr. Henry Link. It says, we generate fears while we sit. We overcome them by action. Fear is nature's way of warning us to get busy. Again, one more time. We generate fears while we sit. We overcome them by action. And fear is nature's way of warning us to get busy. So I like that. You know, obviously it's like, you can take it a few different ways. Actually, I was thinking about it multi-layered. Clearly, it's like, hey, the more you just sit around, you're just going to like get all paranoid and, you know, and probably depressed. I mean, there's a lot that can happen, not just fears. But of course, a lot of those emotions will come with fears. So it's true what he said. But just sitting there, it's like, get off your butt, go, like get to it. So some of you that may be debating Carnivore, maybe you're afraid to commit. Maybe you're just kind of sitting around and you're afraid to commit to carnivore. Do it. It's time to get busy. Commit. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. I mean, you look at me, guys. Look at me. 127 days in. You know, I'm feeling good. Every day is consistent. I'm getting more slim. My clothes are fitting better. I'm more and more comfortable. Now that the weather's warming up, I'm not having to hide myself under jackets anymore. And it's it's nice. Okay. So take it from me. You know, trust me, you're gonna want to do that. And for those of you that fell off the wagon, I hope to hear good news from you. I hope today's dinner was a lot better. Today in general was better for you. Now, some of you are really close to carnivore. If you're still doing stevia or NutraSweet or artificial sweeteners, even if they're even if they're like the stevia in the raw that that doesn't contain the maltodextrin and stuff, like even if you have the really good stuff, guys, it still triggers things in the body. Like try to get away from sweeteners, monk fruit, any of that stuff. Like I'm just telling you, the 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 better you can get away from sweeteners, I'm telling you, you will, your body will appreciate it. Now, if you just absolutely can't right now, okay, I get it. Just stick with the best sweeteners you can. But please try to get away from them. Just giving you my friendly advice. I, I went cold turkey on it. And, of course, you guys know I had a little sugar. And I, and I am getting trace amounts of sugars. Don't get me wrong. But the trace amounts is nothing compared to what, obviously, I was ingesting before. And, of course, I do have a box full of, like, the – it's like a um, – it's not stevia. I mean, it's a stevia extract, I think. But there's also one other, like, plant in there, plant sugar. But it's two natural ingredients. And – um, that's what I used to use when I was doing keto for a while. And, but I've just, I still have a, a ton of them up there. They're like sugar packets, like a big box that was like full of them. And I used a lot at, at one time, but I'm really trying to avoid those at all. Because again, I know that that's just going to start doing stuff for my insulin levels and all that. And it's like, I haven't had the the need for it and I've gotten away and I don't even really want sweets anymore in that sense. I, I just don't have those same desires. I'm telling you because it's like once this, this, this diet, this way of life truly has you feeling that way. It's almost like you want to honor that. You know what I mean? Uh, I was even thinking about that today. It's like, you know, I thought like, what if I wanted to stray and do some other things? But it's like I kind of don't want to because I just I feel like I want to honor what the like the I want to reciprocate what eating like this has given to me. I want to give that back. You know what I mean? So I just want to reciprocate that out of respect, basically. And 
keep eating um, fairly natural foods. And again, I know like the hot sauce and maybe even some of the sour cream. You can kind of argue on some of the dirt. But, I mean, come on. Like, I'm eating the same, fairly the same ingredients every single day. And it's been great. So that's about all I had today. Uh, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, and the exercises. So shout out to Eunice. She, you know, she kept in the comments like, you didn't mention your five exercises. (laughs) So I'm like, yeah, you got me. And then like the next time it was like, you didn't say that the five. What about the five exercises? I'm like, guilty. <laughs> you know? So I did do my five exercises yesterday, and I told her in the comments. I didn't mention it on the video yesterday, but yes, I did do my five exercises yesterday, so I'm not doing them today. So tomorrow, I'm going to try to do my five exercises. Um, other than that, guys, we will see you tomorrow, day 128. Man, the time is flying, huh? All right, bye, guys.